Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is your weekly tower reading for Sagittarius for the week starting December 14. And happy birthday to all the Sagittarius that will be celebrating their birthday. Mwah, I love you so much. And also, if you like to have a reading from me, you can send me an email at gglitarot at gmail.com. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos with your friends and family. And I have pre-shuffled the cards um, before starting the reading. And so now let's see what we have for energy for next week for you, Sagittarius. Wow, I love this card. Yes. Is the Six of Wands. It's a beautiful card. This, by the way, this deck is from Morgan Greer, so I really like the picture of it. Uh, well, there's a horse, which also represents Sagittarius. The Six of, of Wands is a, is a card that represents victory. It's a card that represents um, arriving to a destination. You know, arriving from a place where there have been a lot of things going on, you know. For some of you, because you have now Saturn in your in your first house. So whatever you're wherever you're arriving, this this feeling is, is good to be back wherever you're you are right now. You have uh, people happy to see you. You have also uh, you know people looking forward to spend time with you because you're standing on the horse, so there's a lot of admiration for your, you know, for you. They want to hear from you, your stories, what you have to say. You know, they like to know how you've been, where you're going. It's a great card. It's a great energy to start this week, Sagittarius. And we have here the King of Rods. Or the King of Wands, depending on the deck. But Wands and Rods represent fiery energy. Okay, and it really is again, it's Sagittarius because the element is fire, just like Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you're in a great position as soon as you get off your horse, you're going forward. There's something you want to do, there's something there. And we'll have to see the other cards to see what it is, what it is. but um, you what you got already is um comfort in in your ambition you have you know a lot of assets in terms of project or business you know if for younger Sagittarius what it means is let's say if, for example you are in school you want to study something uh, or you have been studying a program now you'll, you'll march into maybe working in that already in that field with the experience that you have already uh, gained from your studies so you have a chance to now you know, uh, you know, show your skill, you know, show what you have learned, you know, they'll, they'll give you the respect or the autonomy for you to be able to work how you like to work or to expand yourself the way you want to, ex to expand yourself. It could also be to express yourself for those artists, you know, this is a general reading, so the energy comes out differently. But I feel that what the Spirit says is, you know, as soon as you get to your destination, there's something that you have in mind. We'll have to see the other cards to understand what it is, but you have great chance of already gaining this quickly. You know, um, it might be a battle because, you know, you're showing the, the rods, so there's maybe some type of opposition or obstacle, let's say obstacle, just because you have Saturn restricting you. But let's see in the future position for next week what we have for my Sagittarius. Ah, interesting. Well, so this card is, you know, is, is very deep. Those are swords. It's a nine of swords. I hope you see the picture properly. I love, I love this deck. Um, so you will be restricted. Things, you know, wherever you're aiming for, your long-term goal, because it's not just a goal of, you know, you maybe wanting to go see, you know, someone somewhere. So it's a bigger goal. It could be, 
but I think it's it's a bigger goal that you're you're going towards that may lead you to but right now it's it's not the time you know you may meet uh, some obstacles because like I said in, in this picture here we see you're marching towards but you're gonna meet you may meet obstacle so it won't be that easy as you getting off the horse that you just got on arriving your destination you won't be able to do as much as you want to you you'll be restricted so essentially if you're back home you want to establish a business you know you may not be able to maybe have the finance or go forward in your plan or you know maybe if you for someone that is in in school it could be that you want to work those hours that you need to be able to you know um extend your knowledge you may not be able to get those hours at all but there's something where in, where you're aiming for that will be a slow process. It's just a, a delay, a slow process. Maybe you'll have to think through, you know, everything because it's a it's a really ra uh, rational card. It's a mental card. Those are swords. The element is air, but the air is really the only thing that could push the fire. But it goes both ways. It could push the fire, you know, higher. It could just, you know, it's a way to tell you that there's some something that could, you know, could give you some restriction. Let's see what we have for you, uh, my lovely Sagittarius, in the outcome position for next week. Judgment. So I feel that for some of my Sagittarius, let's say that, you know, you have been somewhere, because Sagittarius travel a lot. So, you know, wherever you have been or where, wherever the effort you have been putting yourself or the, the goal that you have been aiming towards, you know, not only you'll be restricted in your future ambition, but it shows that concerning your previous expectation, something going to come out. If you, because you're already ready to get off the horse and go towards another endeavors, and it's telling you, wait, 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 and says, we'll tell you something that is, you're going to have to, to change about your path or, or your expectation. Because judgment is how it's going to come out. It's a major arcana, so it takes the whole energy of the reading. And so it, sh it shows that, you know, now you, you know, welcome back and happy birthday. Because we love having Sagittarius in our life. For those that have the chance to have Sagittarius, it's such a really inspiring sign. But you still have Saturn in your first house. So, you know, you're going to have to, you know, be honest with yourself. You know, you could have sometimes Sagittarius are very optimistic, and but sometimes it's just it doesn't go. You have Jupiter in Virgo. Virgo is very critical. And it's squaring you. So you're going to have to have a better plan ahead. Uh, you may not be able to go through the way you think you should. You may not see the result you think you deserve. It has to, you know, we'll have to see how it's going to come out. This is, of course, a very general reading. So it's not for every Sagittarius. It depends how it, it comes out. You know, some energy could come out for, for you next week, some not. But, you know, sorry for the interruption. And so I was saying, Sagittarius, you know, that you'll get a review of your last 29 years or 30 years or sometime more, really depending on where you're, where this, how the Saturn affects your rising or your moon and affect different areas of your life. Um, but it's just, it will restrain your you know, your imagination in a way where you're going to have to be much more rational, okay? Because like I said, you have Jupiter in uh, Mercury, in Virgo, which is a very rational position to be in, which is different from um, the expensive mind of, a, of Jupiter. Okay, so I will end this reading here. I trust you enjoy it. I want to let you know that I love 
all of your support, all your comments, your like and share means so much to me. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can also like and share this video. And until next week, mwah, 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 sending you lots of kisses. And I love you, my Sagittarius. Bye.